it's been a really, really long day for Chris and I. Uh, we got up at 5.30 this morning. Cherry and Jack are down here and got ready and went to Oklahoma City and went to the funeral of uh, my partner here at the ranch. Not a business partner. Uh, partner who owned half of the ranch. We have an undivided, 50% undivided insurance in this ranch, him and I. And uh, went to his funeral today. It's a beautiful funeral, beautiful ceremony. The uh, thing that um, was most impressive, I think, at that funeral, it's a lot of smiles. The man had done a lot of good in his life for a lot of people. Smiles, including from his family members, who was, of course, very, very sad, but a lot of tears as well. I shed several myself. One of the key things that I just wanted to mention, we're all going to leave this earth and go to either heaven or hell. I look around at what God created behind me, these mountains, lake that ran through here that we dammed up that made this beautiful, a creek that ran through here. We made this beautiful lake. Look at the sunset. It sets right on time. We can tell you when it's going to set, 10, 15, 20 years from now, exactly. That's how organized the God that I serve is. One of the things that really impressed me at that funeral today was the preacher talked about Steve visiting with him about what he wanted to go on at his funeral. Steve's only 71 years old, nine years younger than me. Um, and uh, he, uh, he told the preacher that he didn't want that funeral to be about him. That there would be a lot of people there at that funeral that perhaps did not know Jesus, that were not saved. He wanted that funeral to be about Jesus. He wanted the preacher to talk about how important it was to have a relationship with Jesus to give your life to Jesus, become a saved, born-again Christian. And the teacher, the preacher did talk about that. Uh, Steve's in heaven now. We don't know exactly what heaven's like. We were told a little, quite a bit about heaven in the Bible, but just a little tiny fraction about what heaven's really like. Heaven's probably a lot of different things to different people. Uh, it's probably might depend, I've talked about this before, it might depend on might depend on what uh, the things that you enjoy in your life and uh, that'll be there for you in heaven. Uh, but heaven's with God. Heaven, we were there with Jesus. That's, uh, that's about all we need right there when you really think about it. It's all we need right here on this earth is to be with God, to be with Jesus. And I know that when my dad died back in January 1990, I knew there'd be a lot of people that was unsaved in that church. Church was packed, plumb to the max, more than the max. And uh, just like the church was this morning for Steve Wells. And even family members I knew that were not saved. I wanted to present the gospel. I knew I wasn't a tough enough man to get up there and present the gospel in front of those folks at that particular time when my dad had died. Even though I present the gospel in a lot of churches all over this nation, no problem, no problem. But I knew I couldn't do it then. So I recorded it and uh, played the recording there during that service. Uh, when you think about it, really think about it. When you leave this earth, if you can have the gospel of Jesus Christ preached at your funeral. It's a pretty good way to do it. A funeral about one person, the person that's just died, the body in that casket, the spirit, the soul gone on to heaven or hell. And you ask the preacher to not talk about you, to talk about Jesus. I was so impressed by that, and it just reaffirmed what I knew about my friend, my ranch partner, Steve Wells. He's a great man, a great man. He's home now, waiting on the rest of us to show up. I'll see him again one day.